Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and it's Friday. So it is time for Fridays with Fred. Fridays with Fred are the days I am working through this book. I said that strangely. Fridays with Fred are the days I am sharing with you the progress on the projects I'm making from this book. That's probably better stated. So I purchased this book from VogueDidding.com. They had a 50% off sale. I nabbed this one. It is Knitting the Neighborhood, the official knitting patterns of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. It is by an uh, editorial board and each pattern obviously has a pattern designer. Um, we had a vote when I first got the book and decided my first one should be the beginnings cardigan. And there it is. As this is copyrighted, I am trying to keep the pattern out of view. Um, this is designed by Carla Patrick and I am making it for my husband, Brian. So I have finished the back panel and I am working on, did we say the left front? Yes, indeed, the left front. It is a zippered cardigan, worked flat. Um, I am using circular needles just because I wanted to. This is the Chowgu interchangeable needle set Brian got me for Christmas. Um, I think I'm using the US 7s. Upside down. Yep, US 7, 4.5 millimeters. And the yarn I'm using is Hayfield Bonus Erin Tweed, which I purchased from the Wool Warehouse. So, last week I ended here. This week I am here. Not nearly as much progress as I have made in the past. I am inching closer to the beginning of the armhole shaping and then the shoulder shaping. But I'm not there yet. You might ask why. I blame Brian, and I blame video games, and I blame Blizzard Entertainment for the release of Diablo 4. <laughs> um, so when Brian and I met, he was very much into World of Warcraft, and he got me very much into World of Warcraft. There was a time when we were playing hours every evening, um, and I quite enjoyed it. I got out of it around the time I had chops. But Brian really, really liked um, the original Diablo. I don't believe he played the second Diablo, but I know we played the third. And we played the heck out of the third because we were playing WoW when it came out. I think it came out at the same time as Kata. And if you bought Kata, you could get Diablo 3 for free for the PC. So we did that. And then Brian went ahead and bought it for every other gaming system. So we have Diablo 3 for the Xbox, for the Switch, and for the PS4. We don't have a PS5 yet. But, um, <laughs> so he loved Diablo 3. So when Diablo 4 came out, he hemmed it hot and then decided to get it. But an evening spent gaming with Brian meant the evening was not spent knitting. And therefore, I'm a little further behind, but that's okay. I made progress, and that's all I care about. And we had fun playing a video game together. That was okay. We did have a funny... I don't know why I'm going off on this tangent, because this is Fridays with Fred, not Fridays with Diablo. But <laughs> we tried to log me in, and it was trying to hit my old Battle.net account. And when I, mean, I was playing... Like, this is how long ago I was playing. I had the physical fob, and I never switched it to the app. So I searched down, and we've moved since then, and I found that darn fob, and it's so old, it's no longer linked to the account, like the account doesn't recognize the number from it, but it still works, and they won't let me, I'm like fighting right now with Blizzard customer service trying to get that fob removed, so I could get my old account, but we just went ahead and created a new um, Battle.net account for me to play Diablo 4 with him, but I want my old one because I do have this, like, Ray keeps talking about how cool Dragonflight is and I kind of want to start playing again, but I'm also a little bit scared of that rabbit hole. Oh. <laughs> okay, but here we go. <laughs> Knitting happened. I really should change from that purple 
stitch marker to something brighter that you can tell. But I made a, I made decent progress. There's a couple of inches um, made there. I am close to the armhole shaping. So it's going to happen very soon. And I still think this sweater should be done in the fall for Brian. Um, if you're curious, this is how much I have left. I think I'm about half I'm probably a little more than half done with the first 400 gram ball of bonus Aaron tweed. Um, it did have major yarn barf after maybe when I finished with the first third, it really exploded on me, but I got it under control. And that's really the only complaint I could think about that yarn. I love the feel of it. I love the color of it. I love the texture. It's a nice bouncy. It's 20% wool. So if you do have a wool aversion, you're going to have to see if that's within the spectrum of what you can use or not. But it doesn't smell wooly. It doesn't feel scratchy. I think this is going to be a really great cardigan for him to wear in the fall and probably into the winter. You know, when he goes into the office, he can have his little sweater with him. Maybe he can sing a song as he puts it on in the office. <laughs> I'm sure his co-workers would love that. Oh, I'm using a whisk bag. I won from D at D's Creative Hands. Um, and yes, the, um, the book will be linked down below. It is a link to the Amazon version just because I feel like that's the most accessible for most people. But search your thrift shops. I've heard it's at libraries. Um, I've not personally checked our library to see if it's there. I should. I'm curious, even though I own it. Um, and yeah, I would love it if anybody wanted to join me. Um, definitely, I would say if you are into knitting, they also have crochet books at Vogue Knitting. So it's not just knitting. Um, they also have, like the publishing arm has sewing books and tons of other things. So Getting on their mailing list might not be a bad idea if you're looking for pattern books on sale because they always send out an email and that's how I know about the book sales from them. Okay, also the very first book sale I found out from one of you lovelies, which is how I got on the mailing list. So, thank you. <laughs> Okie dokie. I will see you later. We will probably be on later tonight with a Poor Decisions, but we ate the jelly beans and I don't have much else in reserve here so I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do tonight I don't know tune in and see <laughs> see you later bye bye